and welcome back to my channel guys i know it's been a little minute but i'm back and i'm working on a new video today i've decided to compare two apps one is called autodesk sketchbook and the other one's called procreate i'm pretty sure you guys have heard of both of them they're really popular art apps when it comes to the ipad pro i recently received one in apple pencil and i decided to test it out but you know decided to make a video out of it and figure out which one was more beginner friendly and I can say I don't really have complaints for either one. Both of them worked really well for me. Both of them gave me the results that I was aiming for with the amount of experience I have with using the iPad. This is my first iPad, my first time using a digital tablet in this sense. So I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys take something from this and try this yourselves. The first app that I decided to use was the Autodesk Sketchbook and that was because it was free. This app was free. I'm not really sure about in-app purchases. I'm pretty sure it probably does have some in-app purchases, but for it to be a free app, it did a really great job. All of the brushes were fairly easy to find. All the controls were pretty easy to find. And this is coming from someone who just literally opened the app and started drawing. The only thing I can really say is I don't really like how the actual recording jumps around when I jumps around because I'm a very movie person. I don't like staying in one place for too long when I draw. And I know for some people, they don't really like watching the camera move around that much. So that's one thing that I may can say is maybe a little bit of an issue. But other than that, everything else was pretty decent. Another thing that I liked that I didn't really see in Procreate was the fact that I could move the other buttons out of the way so I wouldn't accidentally press against anything on my palm. I was really really afraid of that and I didn't really see that function for Procreate so that's one point for Sketchbook and minus one for Procreate I guess. I'm not really keeping score but if you guys want to you can. Another thing that I can say is that the layers it was easier for me to find the layer controls on the sketchbook than it was on Procreate and I feel like for beginning artists it it's kind of intimidating to look at an app that has so many features and to know what you want to do because that's one thing that held me back from actually starting this was because I looked at Procreate and I'm like oh my god I don't know what I'm doing like where's all these functions but with sketchbook it had everything in its designated place and it was very easy to find and that made it a lot less intimidating for me. for Procreate. Procreate was $9.99 for me to purchase on my iPad. It does have a cheaper version called Procreate Pocket for $4.99, $5.99, somewhere around that price. But one thing I can say, it looks like Procreate is worth the price. I did a little clicking around before I actually started drawing 
trying to familiarize myself with the app and I saw that it had a lot more features that I really didn't see in the sketchbook app. Maybe I wasn't really looking for it, I don't know, but Procreate looked like a paid app. Like it had PDF conversions, it had animated GIFs, like you were able to do different things with the app and I didn't really see that for sketchbook, not saying that you can't, but that's a pro for me knowing that in the future, once I become more skilled in using my iPad, I can do more things with the app. I'll probably be using both. Both of them are really good in their own right. Both of them can give you beautiful pieces of art. It just takes practice, but Procreate will really show that it was worth the price for me and it was just my first time using it. I loved the selection. Both brush selections are really good, but with Procreate, I feel like the brushes were more varied and it gave me more options when it came to the look that I was looking for. And with all those options, I feel like I can do more effects or do more, more fine tuning than what I can do with Autodesk, Auto, whatever, I'm sorry, Sketchbook. And I don't know, I just feel like for $10, if I do pay for an app, I wanna see where my money is going because that's $10. And I do feel like you can see that in Procreate. So both of them worked really well. As for being beginner friendly, I would suggest Autodesk Sketchbook. Not because it's free, but that's a main factor, but because you get to familiarize yourself with the, with the tools before you go to the more advanced settings. Like if I was starting out and I didn't have $10 to buy Procreate, I probably would use Sketchbook and I'd probably be able to do a lot of things with it and still get the desired effect that I want and then graduate towards Procreate. So either one, I feel like can be beginner friendly, but I would suggest using Autodesk Sketchbook. All in all, if you guys have enjoyed today's video and you like what you've seen, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise you guys, I am trying to get things into the work to bring more things to the channel. And it really does mean a lot to me when I receive a like or a comment or a share. Just something to let me know that you guys really appreciate what I'm doing and you guys want to see more. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.